Hi everybody, this is Rachel from Cyber Sports Network. I'm here with Zeal. Zeal, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? My name is Josh, and uh, I'm 20 years old, and I go to USF. And, I'm a right. and you're here playing Quake Live? Correct. Now, you're kind of new to the Quake Live scene. Did you play another game beforehand, or were you a competitive gamer before this? I never thought of playing professionally or anything like that, but uh, before Quake Live, I played Quake World for a few years, and that's where I got most of my dueling experience, playing with uh, some of the best North America has to offer, like Kovac and uh, Def. And you've gotten very good very quickly. How long ago did you pick up this game? Uh, I started just before QuakeCon 2009 with Quake Live, um, because just because I was curious at how it was, and I hadn't followed eSports for a while. And uh, I found the game to be fun. There was an aspect to it that Quake World didn't have for me, and the mental game was really interesting. And uh, so I just started practicing, and I really enjoyed the game, and I just kept playing. What is your practice like? How do you, how do you, um, do you practice aim? Are you practicing with these pro players on public servers, maybe? I try to play with the really good players like Rafa, Chance, DKT, DeHang, all those, all the best North America has. And um, I, I focus more on mental and confidence and uh, not so much aim because I've never want, been a person with really strong aim. Um, and I'm a firm believer in quality over quantity, so I don't like to play for hours and hours without taking breaks. So I usually play 50, 60 minutes, and I take a break. That sounds like you figured out what works for you. You've done very well here at QuakeCon 2011. Do you want to walk us through your performance in the tournament? Uh, well, my group stage was uh, Cypher, Sparty, and Scoot. Cypher and Sparty are two of the best European Quake Live players there are. They, those guys, if they're on forum, they could easily win a tournament. But uh, I didn't do so well or as well as I'd like because I'm not really used to how the game feels on land. It plays a lot different and I wasn't... Mentally, I could not concentrate on the first day and it's really unfortunate all the dual games had to be played in one day because I felt I feel a lot better today and I, feel, I felt a lot better yesterday as well. Well, You've got a lot coming up in the future. Where will you be playing Quake next? Oh, I'll just keep playing for practice and hopefully some tournaments come up. And, uh, and if there are, I will strive to get better and improve myself and hopefully do a lot better than I did because I know that I can do a lot better than I did this tournament. And in addition to competing, is there any way that you're working to grow Quake as an eSport? Uh, I can't really say that I am, but I just go to sites like ES Reality and I try to support the players and all these tournaments and yeah I, but I can't really say I go far out to do anything. Well your job is to be a player and uh, it's the community's job to really rise up and support you. Are you connecting with the community in any way? Do you have a Twitter or maybe are you streaming your games anywhere? Uh, unfortunately I'm not. I guess there's just of course ES Reality that seems to be the quick live center for all the news and all the players and all that kind of stuff. Well, we look forward to seeing you at tournaments in the future then. Thanks so much for talking to us, and congratulations once again. Thank you.